Hi guys, so it's been a while since my last recording. I could give you a couple of lame excuses, but I'm not gonna do it. So let's just uh, jump right to it. So I, I've, ha I've had a couple of requests where people want to see how to set up a Visual Studio 2015 project using Angular 2 and TypeScript. So I thought it's an excellent uh, screencast, so here we go. Right, so uh, here we are in Visual Studio 2015. Uh, we're gonna start by doing a file new project and create an ASP.NET uh, web application. We'll, we're gonna use the ASP.NET 5 preview templates. You're gonna uh, start off from an empty one. Right, so we have created our project uh, and uh, there are a couple of things to be aware of here. And let's go through them. So in our project.json file, uh, we are referencing the beta 7 version. And uh, when you do a file new project, we'll probably have the 5 one. So make sure to use uh, beta, the latest beta. And uh, to be able to do that, uh, you also need to come and check uh, using the .NET version manager and uh, make sure that you have uh, the beta 7 installed. Otherwise, uh, you just need to get it uh, with a simple command. And um, once, you d once you've done that, uh, you can just run the uh, DNVM use and uh, type, in, uh, type in this name here. And I'm already using that one. And uh, when you've done that, you, you can run the uh, .NET utility, uh, command utility tool, and just do a restore, which I've also done. And if you've done that, uh, you should be able to build uh, the ASP.NET uh, 5 project with the latest beta. And uh, we know that we will be serving an Angular, uh, Angular app, so we want to be able to serve static files. And to be able to do so, we're going to need to come and add a new uh, NuGet package called uh, Microsoft. So we get this really nice IntelliSense. Um, when browsing the NuGet repository and we can see there's a beta 7 for the static files as well. So we'll get that and once we save the projects.json file we can see that the references are trying to restore themselves. Uh, so let's see what's happening here. So it uh, didn't get it. So sometimes you're gonna need you need to come and do a DNU restore from the command prompt. And uh, yeah, so it worked. So we can build a project. And uh, we're gonna need to use this middleware. And where we, uh, where we do register middlewares is in the startup file. Uh, so here, instead of serving hello world every time, we can uh, go ahead and say uh, use static files. Not pass it the same options. Uh, and before we do that, we also want to say use default files, which will make sure that we try to browse index.html or default.htm. Uh, so this is everything we need to configure on the server side uh, to serve our index.html file. So uh, we can go ahead and create a, a new item and just add an HTML page called index.html and make sure that I'm being served. Right, so if we hit control F5, we can skip the debugger and uh, we can see that we are serving the static file index.html, so that's fine. Uh, Alright, so now we want to be able to create an Angular 2 project. And uh, I'm gonna try to just follow this simple tutorial in the angular.io page, which says learn in five minutes. I'm not gonna read the steps one by one, uh, but I am gonna use TSD to install a couple of uh, TypeScript definition files. And uh, in Visual Studio 2015 and ASP.NET 5, uh, the project is file-based. So we're gonna see a couple of really nice things here that we haven't seen before. So we can go ahead and just do TSD install, Angular 2, ES6 promise, and a couple of other uh, TypeScript definition files, and call save. Uh, 
and this this should go uh, go ahead and write a couple of files for us in the typings uh, folder here. So you can see the 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 project project is uh, uh, fi file based. So we don't need to actually add the files ourselves. So nothing nothing strange happened. They just appeared. Uh, so we have a couple of TypeScript definition files and the main file that references them all. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, all right. So uh, what we want to do now is to actually create our TypeScript files. And to be able to use TypeScript with ASP.NET 5 uh, for this version, so this is still a beta, keep, bear in mind, so this may change. Uh, we're going to need to create a folder called scripts. And to this folder, we're going to add a TypeScript com config file. Uh, TypeScript JSON configuration file. Uh, and in this folder, this means that this fo folder would be a virtual project for TypeScript, for TypeScript files. Uh, and we're going to want to uh, output or outdate. I don't actually remember this right now. You can look it up if it doesn't work. Uh, we want to output it to www.root. Right. Uh, so if we add a new file here called TypeScript or called app.ts and just save it, we got the app.js output it to our www root folder. So that's cool. So we are compiling TypeScript files by just saving TypeScript, uh, compiling JavaScript, transpiling JavaScript files by just saving our TypeScript files. So the gulp script that we did in the last screencast isn't isn't uh, uh, useless. Uh, so we can take a look at uh, how we can integrate gulp uh, by uh, using the task runner in Visual Studio in the next screencast, perhaps. But for now, let's just use this virtual TypeScript folder here uh, and to output our JavaScript files to our www.root folder by saving our TypeScript files. So uh, if we come here and look in the uh, look at the tutorial tutorial here, uh, we can see that uh, we could reference our Angular 2 definition file uh, explicitly, but we could also just go ahead and throw in the entire uh, uh, this guy here, which ref references them all. And switch back to browser. And we're going to just copy paste a couple of lines here. Uh, right, so now we need to provide a module flag. And there, what, we do, uh, what we're going to do that is in the tsconfig file, because this doesn't seem to uh, or it requires us to provide that flag to the compiler. Uh, so let's tell it uh, module, right? Tell it that we want to use common JS. Save it, come back, uh, and the error is gone. And now if we try to navigate to the component, uh, we should, should be, uh, hit the definition file, which we're doing here, as you can see. So uh, that's pretty nice, and we are already up and running, and we can see that we haven't actually done <laughs> anything yet, but soon we'll switch over to the app.js file. So we're going to copy-paste our component code, and Let's just skip this tutorial steps where they explain everything. You can read this for yourself if you like. We're going to bootstrap the component at the end. Uh, right, so we're going to need to provide experimental decorators here as well. So let's do that, remove that warning. So I've been sick for a week or so. That's why my nose is a bit snuggy. So uh, experimental and this error won't go away. Right. Experimental decorators. True. Did I misspell it? Experimental decorators. 
right so it's gone just took a while for it to understand and uh, switch back to the view again to the browser copy paste the index.html file so as you can see we're, you can probably see where I'm going with this uh, you can probably fast forward if you are bored but just bear with me here and we copy paste we are soon done with copy pasting let's run the latest alpha that we are referencing in our definition file which is 37 at the moment of this recording uh, let's hope nothing has changed I don't think so and we're gonna load it with system.js and uh, we don't need to actually run another local HTTP server uh, right so hopefully if we just control F5 again uh, right so I got an error and that's because I switched the <laughs> right so I switched the system.js version uh, or the system.js version uh, 0.16 isn't compatible with the latest angler so we can just switch this back to 28 right so let's remember 28 uh, I don't have the time to look up which version it should be in right now and just refresh the browser and our angler 2 uh, app is uh, is up and running so uh, we're done uh, we have a script folder which is our virtual TypeScript definition folder and uh, we have a couple of uh, definition files that we got with TSD which is a NuGet uh, 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 not a NuGet uh, a node tool uh, if you haven't installed it it's just you can just run install it globally uh, and it's called TSD <clears throat> right uh, and uh, we're using the static files uh, static files uh, NuGet package to serve the index.html file this was the file that I'm looking for and we are running the latest beta in ASP.NET 5 alright so that was Visual Studio 2015 with TypeScript and Angular 2 for you uh, so um, in the next screencast I think I'm gonna try to integrate Gulp into Visual Studio as well to show you how these tools can work together uh, so the, the thing we did in the, in the previous screencast isn't useless uh, and we're probably gonna take take a look at uh, some new Angular 2 features as well but this is how we can get up and running with Visual Studio 2015 which is my preferred uh, IDE but I'm gonna try to do a new, new screencast in one to two weeks uh, so until next time have a nice day bye